Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we will show you how to remove or how to replace rear window regulator on Mazda CX-7, guys. This is the window regulator. Stay with us. We will show you what needs to be done and all that stuff. In the meantime, guys, we will have more than 200 videos on Mazda CX-7. More than 200 videos. So please, guys, subscribe to the channel for more videos. Hopefully, we can save you quite a bit of money. And if you need uh, help with anything, drop a comment below. We will try to make a video for your problem. All the tools and parts guys that we use will be listed in the description of the video below for your convenience. So let's start running now. So we need a small flathead screwdriver right here. We need to remove this cap. Okay, pop it open like that. It will come out eventually. Okay, perfect. Right here there is one screw with a few of screwdriver that we need to remove. Okay, let me see which one's better with the light or without the light. I think with the light. So let's go ahead and remove that screw now. Right here, another screw. You might have a cap there, you might not have a cap. Okay, perfect. Now this cap right here, guys. Let's remove that one as well. With a plastic panel removal too. All the parts and tools that we use. They will be listed in the description of the video below. Yes, two clips. They go in these holes right here. <coughs> now with a plastic panel removal too, guys. We're going to start popping the clips open. Okay, let's see where we can start that you can get the two in. I recommend to get on the front side. Okay, and once you start it, usually you come out, you need to pull this way. We'll show you where all the clips are and all that stuff. Okay. Once we remove the panel. Sometimes those clips will break, so we have to replace them. Stay with us and we'll show you where we get our replacement clips from. Now, right here, guys, we need to disconnect. Okay, the window switch. And so. But before that, we're going to disconnect the door handle by pulling out like that. And disconnecting. Okay, the cables. The yellow one goes on top. So now we can actually show you the clip for the switch. Okay, right here. You can see this clip. Push in pull out okay just like that so you can see guys those clips now okay this is a good clip it's still good but how you uh, how you pull them out of the door if they break stay with us and we'll show you uh, and where we get our replacement ones because it's really really good deal I promise you so those are the clips they come with even the tools necessary to remove door panels uh, it comes with a Actually, you can see with the prank tool as well, the metal prank tool here. We got two sets of those because we use them so much. Okay. And you have to grab, go under the clip. And just pry it out. Sometimes they will be super tight. Careful not to go with your eyes. Okay, this came out. Let us just show you now how you replace them. Perfect. Now, we need to find a clip that is close to this one. So, check it out now. This is like, I don't know, 400 and something clips, I believe. Uh, 324. 324 clips together. They have different packages, different options. So, we need to find that uh, close to that one. Okay, and you can see this one will work. So let's check on the hole. Oh, yep, it will go in. So, what we have to do, oh, just slide it right there on the panel, push in, okay, and later install your panel. So, that's how you guys replace the clips. Let us show you where all the clips are now. So, we have one, okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven clips that hold the panel in place so now we need to go ahead and turn the ignition on and uh, what we will do 
uh, we'll bring the window down guys okay but let me tell you now okay we need to remove that cap right here and you will see why now uh, it's not going to work unless you install the window switch okay so we need to go ahead and uh, remove the window switch from the panel or just connect it okay so we can bring the window to the position that we need it okay so let's see if it's going to work and if we'll be able to see but I think this is where we'll be let's go ahead and remove that switch now so we can actually show you a little bit better what is happening it has just only two screws okay perfect now I'm going to leave the panel here we don't need it connect the switch okay now with ignition on okay we're going to bring the window down okay up oh, right here and we see we have uh, let's bring it just a little bit up we have a 10 millimeter bolt now okay that we need to uh, remove so we can disconnect the window from the regulator okay so you need to remove the bolt all the way I believe if not we'll let you know when we remove it so you know for sure ah, we dropped it now if you drop it like that you can remove the radio speaker if you need it for later if you cannot reach it for some reason and now you can bring the window up okay and we can just tape it here now so we'll tape the window up okay like that so it cannot drop down while we're working on the rest of the procedure so we'll disconnect the window motor press down pull the wire out 10 millimeter socket perfect now that speaker guys okay we'll probably need to remove it too it has only one <laughs> in our case it has only one screw but you're supposed to have four of them four screws I'll show you where that in just a minute. Okay, let's disconnect it. And you can see you're supposed to have four screws on each corner. Each corner one screw, so altogether four screws. And so we need to disconnect these two wires. Press in, pull out. Okay, just like that. Now we can go ahead, 10 millimeter socket, and start removing a few bolts. Okay, three more. And we have one clip that we need to remove as well. And you can see guys the clip is okay right here so this one is with a few of screwdriver we need to unscrew the middle piece okay and pull the clip out perfect okay just like that so okay we can proceed guys with the next step now and it will be okay let's see if it's going to come loose if we have anything else still holding there okay it looks like it got stuck you can see it's kind of like it glued to the to the metal door and now we can pull it out okay just like that now we need to turn okay that thing clockwise get it out and we just have a 10 millimeter nut okay two nuts here that we will need to remove And your window regulator guys is out of the way you can see like that so that's how you remove it 
uh, replacement one, the same way in reverse order guys, everything is the same. Check out the video description for more details and where we get our parts from and thank you for watching, see you guys next time.